getting more approval. Something Alistair, you need mind. to like me. Fundamentally I had to No. Uh do you ever do you want to talk about Duncan? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. I'm still gonna talk to you. Um That doesn't mean I don't uh, I just thought you might need to talk. I I should have handled it better. Oh Duncan warned me right from the beginning. I don't like this talk about Duncan. It makes me sad. I could die in battle. I've been recording for two hours. Have lost it, not when so much is riding on us. Not with the blight and and everything. It's okay, Alistair. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um. There's no need to apologize. I like to. You have didn't a do anything before. wrong. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still damn alive. straight we will, and he'll be given a place I of honor. I don't think he had any family to speak of. Um, he had you. <laughs> Just drive the knife you. deeper, you eh? Go ahead. It probably sounds stupid, but part of me wishes I was with him in the battle. Then you would like be dead. Him. Yeah, so stupid, you'd be dead. <laughs> now I understand completely. Of course. I'd be dead then, wouldn't yep. I? Yep. And we kind of need you oh, for plot relevant reasons. I think he came from High Ever. Or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime. See about putting up some. By the way, um, about high ever. <laughs> you had someone close to you die? Yes, both my parents. Not that I mean to pry. I'm just. My entire family's murdered just recently. I've lost enough to know what you're going through. Yes, that's I a little bit more tact than. By the way, my entire really family have... has been murdered. Thank you. It was good to talk about this with a friend. It means a lot to me. Aww. Maybe I'll go to High Ever with you when you go, seeing as I own I like it. That. Or at least kind of so own it. He, I think. Aww. Something on your mind? Has anyone ever told you how handsome you're? Oh, shit. Okay. Fine. Not unless they were asking me for a favor. Well, there was that one time in Denerim, but those women were. Really? <laughs> not like you. Ah. Why? Is this your way of telling me you think I'm handsome? Yes, guys, I'm going to romance Alistair. Deal with it. Um. And if it is, what then? Oh, nothing much. I'm okay, it took me a second to figure out that one. Look foolish for a while. <laughs> At your service. Say, say, we have, we have triggered. The romance with Alistair. Well, we're in camp. Now's as good a time as any to talk, right? We're not gonna do this because that will just piss him off. Um... I need to tell you how much I enjoy your company. You know I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> Given the circumstances, things could have been so much worse. I'm, I'm so gonna romance Alistair. You. Instead of some other great war. I'm me. Well, I'm glad um, I'm me that's too. That's better in my head. <laughs> I, I just mean to say He's that so I can't awkward. imagine it's adorable. having done this without you. Um, yeah, you're so goofy. That's why I, I feel the same way. Because we, we do just kind need of to be rid you. of that pesky archdemon, and everything will be back to normal, right? <laughs> I don't think normal is the correct way to say it. At your service. Any questions? Of course. Let's see. Would you remain? A Templar if you hate the Tantry. Chantry. Have you I seen the uniform? It's not only stylish, but well made. <laughs> I'm a sucker for good tailoring. <laughs> um, as a, oh, I don't think I've ever seen you wearing it. I keep it hidden under my pillow. Sometimes I'll take it out just so I can hug it fondly and remember the good old days. <laughs> He's so goofy. <laughs> Brings a tear to the eyes, you know. Silly boy. Um... This is where you deflect questions with humor, right? I'd use my shield if I could, but I think you might actually spot me hiding behind it. Yes, it's not you that big. Really it's pretty big, but not that big. Templar, do you? It's really quite boring. Well, I've been listening to people for 45 minutes already, so I think I can listen a little bit more. Um, I do really want to know, yes. Poke, poke, poke. Tell me everything about your life, Alistair. Yep. All right. I'm the protagonist, that's insist, what I do. It's not like we have anything better to do, right? The truth of the matter like stopping is the blight. that I did hate going to the monastery. The initiates from poor families thought I put on airs, while the noble ones called me a bastard and ignored me. I felt like Al Eamon had cast me off unwanted, and I was determined to be bitter. 
But I took some solace in the training itself, I guess. I was actually quite good at it. Maybe that's why she didn't want let or the uh, revered mother didn't want to let you go. The education mostly, but also the discipline. You need to have a disciplined mind in order to use the abilities we have. It was difficult, but rewarding. I never really felt at home. He never anywhere, seems very disciplined. Until I joined the Grey Wardens. And the Duncan is felt still my pissed Templar at me. abilities might be useful for when we encountered Darkspawn magic. So I kept it up. What about you? Do you have anywhere you consider home? Um I guess my home is with the Grey Wardens now, with you, seeing as Earl as um Earl Howe kind of murdered my entire family. Really? <laughs> I I guess I like the sound of that. Let's try and make Alistair as flustered as possible. Now. Once the war is over, once the blight is... Well, a time will come when we'll have to think about having a real home again. Though that seems like a far ways off. Yeah, we've got at least another 20 hours of this. The Grey Wardens are gone for good. Nope, nope, nope. Either way. Um, you can always keep traveling. Maybe. Could you? I don't know what I'd find out there that would be any different. I guess it would depend on where I was going. I'll go with you, Anyhow, Alistair Honeybones. We'd better get back to what we're supposed to be doing right now. Well, we're just resting, so we can talk. At your service. He likes me. Of course. What changes about you after the joining? You mean other than becoming a Grey Warden? Yep. I mean, changes physically. Uh, you've been a great one longer than I have. Hmm. You know, I asked Duncan this too. And all I got was, you'll see. <laughs> he wouldn't tell you? Well, it's Let's not that Duncan it. wants to keep it a secret. It's just that the Grey Wardens don't discuss it much. I gather it's not a pleasant topic. The that is kind of a rite of passage. I noticed was passage, an increase passage, in passage, appetite. Passage, passage. I used passage. to get up in the middle of the night and raid the castle larder. I thought I was starving. I'd slurp down every dinner like it was my last, and <laughs> my face all covered in gravy. When I'd look up, the other Grey Wardens would stare, then laugh themselves to tears. Because <laughs> they all know exactly what it's like. So it was a joke? More like an initiation. They all went through it too. Oh, and then there were the nightmares. Yep, I got those evidently, Duncan as you could see. Said it was part of how we sense the Darkspawn. We tap into their... Well, I don't know what you'd call it, the group mind. And when we sleep, it's even worse. You learn to block it out after a while, but at first it's hard. It's supposed to be worse for those who join during a blight. Like me? How is it for you? Um, nightmares. Yeah, yeah, I saw the dark demon. Some people never have much trouble, but that's rare. Others have trouble sleeping their entire life. They're just more sensitive, I suppose. Everyone ends up at the same, though. Once you reach a certain age, the real nightmares come. Hmm? That's how a Grey Warden knows his time has come. Uh, his time has come? Alistair, are you holding out on me? Oh, that's right. We never had time to tell you. No, that part, did we? no, you didn't. Well, in addition to all the other wonderful things about being a Grey Warden, you don't need to worry about dying from old age. Um, what? You've got 30 years to live. <laughs> what? Uh, the, taint. the taint. But he tells me anything! It's a death sentence. Ultimately, your body won't be able to take it. When the time comes, most Grey Wardens go to Orzammar and die in battle rather than waiting. It's tradition. It's tradition. How cheery. And you wondered why we kept the joining a secret from the new recruits. Well, there you have it. Um, I never feel betrayed. This is wrong. I never wondered that. I understand. You know, Duncan, he started having the nightmares again. He told me that in private. He said it wouldn't be long before he'd go to Orzammar himself. I guess he got what and he wanted. They go wanted. to Orzammar because that is an entrance into the I deep roads. They go into the deep roads and kill as many dark spawns as they possibly can before they get murdered themselves. You'll be remember remembered, Alistair, as both the others. I know. Ending the blight. Damn straight, we are going to murder Logan in a pool of his own blood for killing Duncan. And Caitlin, but mostly service. Duncan. Of course. Questions? What was it like with the Grey Wardens with all the others? I didn't know them for very long. Wow, so talking to Alistair is taking a you long time. They were quite a group. 
Actually, they felt like an extended family since we were all cut off from our former lives. We also laughed more than you'd think. There was this one time. There was this well, one time. You probably don't want to hear stories about men you didn't. Yes. Know. Yes, I do. There was one Grey Warden who came all the way from the Anderfels. What was his name? Was Gregor. Gregor. He was a burly man with the biggest, fuzziest beard you've ever seen. Really? I know a and couple a of those. Who drink? He drank all the time, but he never got drunk. Huh. Finally, we all made a pool to see just how many pints it would take to put him under the table. It sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> Sometimes. It does, actually. We were kin of a sort. All of us had gone through the joining, so we knew... Well, anyhow, it doesn't have to be deadly serious all the time. Anyhow, we never did find out. He said he'd drink a pint for every half pint that the rest of us drank. He was still going by the time the rest of us were passed out. <laughs> I'm told that Duncan walked in later I on. I wish I had that kind of alcohol tolerance. One end of the hall to the other, and Gregor still drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Duncan laughed until he nearly... Until... Ooh, you were going to say he laughed until he nearly died. And guess what? Yeah, he's dead. I'm sorry, this must be hard yes, for you. I, I suppose so. Poor honey buns. I thought I was done Give him a hug, you eh? Give him a hug. It just struck me that I have nothing to remember Duncan by. Nothing at all. There's no body, not even a token of his that I could take with me. Another item that we can go get for him. That must sound really stupid to you. Special plot, plot relevant items. Not at all. I just would have liked something of his to take with me, that's all. Well, there's no use in moaning about it, is there? He's gone. Yes, yes he is. Let's just go. Because Logan is a jerk. I'm wondering something. But I'd like to know your thoughts about some of our traveling companions. Great. Do you mind if I ask? Oh boy, go ahead. Time for the juicy gossip, I take it. I've got this nefarious plan to go around to each of them and secretly tell them all the nasty things you said. God damn that it. That way they'll mutiny and I shall become the group leader. Since when am I the leader? Oh wait, I'm the protagonist. If you want to lead, all I have to do is ask. Okay. Um, if you want to lead, then all you have to do is ask. What? Lead? Me? No, 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 no leading. Bad things happen when I lead. <laughs> we get lost. People die. And the next thing you know, I'm stranded somewhere. Without any pants. Without any pants? How does that happen? I'm curious. I've had enough time to form my own opinions, and I just want to see if yours are any different. Um, only if you tell me your opinion as well. Just try and stop me. <laughs> Let's see. Where should I begin? So opinionated you are, Alistair. Sven? The way he looks at me with those eyes... Creepy. And he's so quiet for someone so He's big. standing right there. He can probably hear you, Alistair. Um, I respect him. The more I talk to him, the more reasonable he does seem. Despite the fact he killed an entire family. His philosophy sounds strange. But it doesn't sound at all as vile as the Chantry describes it. And yet, he killed all those people. He doesn't even deny it. Doesn't that bother you? We're all killers on the... He seems to regret what he did. Hmm. I'm not so sure that his regret means the same as it would for us. The Kunari sense of honor is... It's Interesting? It's hard to grasp. Yeah! For me, anyway. What about Liliana? Is she crazy? Or do you really believe in her vision? Um... I believe that she believes in her vision. That's one way to put it. Let's be diplomatic. I don't know what to make of her. If you look at her when she doesn't see you, she just looks so, so sad. Well, we're gonna Almost play Liliana's song eventually, and we'll figure out exactly life. why she's sad, and it's fucked up. I don't. This is good for her. Good for you, maybe. Her, I'm not so sure about. Morrigan, do you trust her? Think about it. Maybe Flemeth sent her with us for some other reason than she said. Of course she did. She's Flemeth. Um, you're probably right. And you're just going to let her follow us around? A Maleficar and make her knows what else? I let you follow us around. Um, your Templar training is showing. <laughs> it is not 
It is not. Right. Maybe it's <laughs> a little. You may have a point. Your type bar training Enough. is showing. I think my curiosity is sated. Let's get back to it, shall we? Did I piss him off? Okay. Nope. Not yet. Good. At your service. Of course. Um. Oh, great. The virginity question. Never, never what? Had a good pair of shoes? No. <laughs> Sex. Oh, so that's what we're talking about. <laughs> just come out and say it, why don't you, Miss UA? I've never had a woman just come out and ask me like this. I know, right? Sure. I myself never had the pleasure. <laughs> the Not way he says that. Of course. But, you know. Oh, I see you like the proper parts. <laughs> Oh, I see you like the proper. Uh, uh, let's piss him off. No, no, you never had the opportunity. Well, let's be nice. Living in the Chantry is not exactly a life for rambunctious boys. They taught me to be a gentleman, especially in the presence of beautiful women such as yourself. Really? That's not so bad. Beautiful women? You think I'm beautiful? Of course you are. And Watch you for the blush. Know it. You're ravishing, resourceful, and all those other things you probably hurt me for not saying. I would never hurt you. So glad you remembered. Nor I, you. Aww. Let us be off then. It's such <laughs> puppy love. It's almost dis it's so sugary, it's almost blush. disgusting. You are blushing already, dude. Yes. <laughs> yes. Of course. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, we're in camp. Now's as good a time as any to talk, right? No, I'm not going to choose that one because you pretty much have to wait for him to walk up to you. Have a kiss. Oh. <laughs> you want to... Yes. Kiss right me. Right now? Now. Well, who am I to refuse? Om nom 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 nom. Miss Scar the Tanager, Moment Ruiner. Okay. So there we go. We have initiated a romance with Alistair. We have talked to everybody and there are still quest markers over them. Figure out why the next time. My name is Miss Scar the Tanager and this is some Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. See you all later.